In today's video, we're taking a look at how to get the measurements for your HVAC air filter easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot. Thank you. So you woke up today and it's time to change the air filter for your HVAC system. You went to the garage or the carport or the pantry and did not find any air filter. You search your purchase history and none to be found. Or even better yet, you opened the air filter housing and did not see any air filter. That seems like a bigger problem, but today we got your back. One boat ride away, then a helicopter, a cab, and then a moped. But a back is a back. The first thing that you want to do is locate your thermostat and then turn off the system. The second thing that you want to do is locate your HVAC filter housing. It could either be on the ceiling, on a wall, or on the system itself. You can refer to your owner's manual to verify this information. Once we've done that, we're gonna locate the tab that you either slide or pull to open to have access to the filter. In this case, we have a tab that we pull. You're gonna notice one to the left and one to the right. You want to, at the same time, hold the door because the last thing you want is that door to give you a left and right hook or a stump in your toes. Once you locate the filter, you wanna go ahead and remove it slowly. And depending on how dirty it is, you might want a bag to place it inside. And we want to do this to avoid any of the captured dirt to go on the air because you don't want to go from a filter change to a house cleaning. And if there's none installed, you can skip this step. Now that we have a big hole on our ceiling or wall, if you notice the door or the housing is dirty, you can take this moment to show it who's the boss. With a brush, you can get in between the grate and with a rag, you can clean the rest. If your unit does have a filter, there's some information on it that could guide us to buy the next one. Usually on the sides, we're gonna see the measurement. In this case, it's a 20 by 20 by one. But if you notice, right under the numbers is the actual filter size. 19 three quarters by 19 three quarters by seven eight. So that means if your system does not have an AC filter right now, you can measure the width and length of the housing to get your filter size. In our case, we have 19 three quarters by 19 three quarters. So you can take this information to your local hardware store or HVAC system store and buy the new filter or you can order online. We'll have links on the description. And basically what you're going to do is take the numbers and round it to the nearest whole number. Now you've done it. You have some measurements but no air filter. You have become the greatest measurer of HVAC system air filter holes of all time. So don't forget if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that really helps. If you have any questions place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Static Box team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.